Thank you for tuning in to Cron On. I'm Teresa Stasio. It is Friday. Teachers across the Bay Area can now apply for the annual Dr. Harry Edwards Follow Your Bliss Award. The program is put on by the 49ers Foundation. It recognizes five of the most influential educators in our region, and each one of them will receive a $5,000 grant for their classroom and a formal recognition at the Levi Stadium event. They will even be mentioned by Dr. Edwards himself. So we have the honor to welcome Dr. Edwards right now here on Cron On to talk a little bit more about this amazing program to identify these educators and really kind of give them some financial and some recognition that they certainly deserve. Yes, absolutely. Um, about five years ago, Jesse Lovejoy and his education staff at the San Francisco 49er uh, Museum went to the York family, to Dr. John York, and proposed that we uh, provide an award for our outstanding uh, teachers uh, in the nine Bay Area, Bay Area counties. Uh, they approved uh, it immediately, have been enthusiastic in their support for it. And our goal is not to uh, award every teacher that is deserving because there are so many uh, but to create a model where perhaps other organizations other corporations uh, can do likewise to pick teachers uh, who are doing an outstanding job and award them give them the uh, recognition uh, give them uh, the respect and so forth um, that they deserve so right now the application process is opening so what are the, some of the things that you look at in order to select one of these teachers? Well, we look at their relationships, of course, with the uh, students. Uh, we look at their commitment to the community. We look at the caliber uh, of their service. Uh, we look at uh, their tenure in a uh, teaching or educator position. Uh, all of that uh, comes in uh, comes into it. And it's not about uh, the teacher who's at the best school or the teacher who uh, has the most letters uh, behind his or her name. It's about relationships. It's about a demonstrable commitment uh, in terms of service um, to uh, students and uh, their families and their communities. Uh, this situation has become uh, even more critical in the wake of uh, COVID. Um, all of the arguments over uh, whether to mask uh, or get vaccinated or not, uh, all of the arguments over what's legitimate education uh, material, uh, what books can be read and what books cannot. Teachers are at the very vortex of these storms uh, that impact our schools and impact our young people. And some of them, believe it or not, uh, with distance learning and all of the other challenges, have not only um, become uh, expert in dealing with these issues, they've become better teachers. Uh, that's what we're looking for. Uh, and we're just um, really, really uh, privileged to look at some of the profiles uh, of the teachers who've uh, submitted applications for this award. So how does someone get involved? For example, like I can't necessarily nominate a teacher like my child's teacher. It has to be the teacher. Tell me a little bit about the process so that we can make sure that everybody knows what to do. Well, in point of fact, a teacher can be nominated by almost anybody. A teacher can nominate them uh, themselves. Uh, a teacher can be nominated by a parent or a group of parents. A teacher can be nominated by a principal. A teacher can be nominated by another teacher at the same school. Um, and uh, the thing that we look at is not who nominates them, but we look at uh, the materials that are brought uh, to bear uh, on the particular application. What they need to do is go online to the 49ers website look up uh, uh, Jesse Lovejoy and the education program, all the materials necessary uh, to uh, apply are, are listed there. Uh, the deadline is uh, March 31st. Uh, we will hope to have all of the uh, applications reviewed and the uh, awardees chosen. Uh, and then sometime in uh, April or May, we will uh, announce those. And hopefully this year, I uh, have an in-person dinner. I'll be able to visit schools again and classes and uh, sit on the little chairs and uh, what have you and, and spend time with the uh, with the students. So uh, that's essentially the process. Now, I can see your face light up when you talk about, you know, this year being different than last year and, of course, the year before and so forth like that. But, I mean, this it really is about following your bliss, as you were mentioning, for the teachers. But it's also really important to you. 
Oh, absolutely. Um, I, I was fortunate enough uh, growing up in East St. Louis, Illinois, to have uh, uh, some great teachers all along the way, right on through Fresno City College and San Jose State, and of course, Cornell, and then to teach at the greatest flagship uh, uh, public university in the world, the University of California at Berkeley. And uh, I learned uh, early on that teachers uh, are the uh, greatest of all professionals, uh, because unlike an architect or an engineer, unlike a doctor, um, or a lawyer uh, who do things for people. A teacher incites uh, people to think and inspires them to learn and to follow their bliss so that they can do for themselves. Uh, and so I, I think that that's so critically important. And every year uh, I think that I've seen, boy, the teachers don't get much better than this. And then the next year, uh, a, a cohort of teachers come along that shows me, you know what, this is just a great, great uh, teaching uh, area. Uh, teachers are committed. Uh, and uh, every year, the, the, the cohort of applicants are, are, are better than the last year. Now, in addition to the money, tell me a little bit about the Levi Stadium and being recognized and going to the 49ers. Well, they, we, we, uh, before the um, pandemic, uh, we would have a dinner. Uh, we would have uh, everybody would get a chance to um, to meet uh, the awardees. Uh, I would go uh, to their school and spend a day with them and their classes and uh, perhaps speak to the uh, entire student body uh, at a school about the importance of education, about learning to dream with your eyes open and persevering and uh, learning to uh, behave as if to be a great student, uh, behaving as if you already are and what would a great student be doing right now to give those kinds of uh, uh, talks to the students at their, um, at their schools. Uh, the greatest time I've ever had was going into a second grade class or a first grade class and sitting down on one of those little bitty chairs and, <laughs> and listening to the questions of the students and talking to them and laughing with them and seeing what's important uh, in their lives. Um, the uh, teacher would ask me sometime, well, what are you going to say to the students? Uh, my response was always, I'm not going to say anything to the students. I'm interested in what they have to say to me because that will dictate the rest of it. it was, it's just a, a great time uh, for me and uh, I think the students and the teachers get a lot out of it as well. Well, it's a great connection to make in regards to especially coming out. I, I think that we can say that safely coming out of the pandemic in order to like really connect again because it was something that we really lost during the pandemic. So it's nice to at least have this new chapter. And as you were mentioning, we can go forward. The application process is now open and you were making a comment that it's um, until March 31st. Yes, yes. The deadline is March 31st. Anybody can nominate a teacher. Uh, we will take seriously all of the applications, irrespective of, of, of how they came uh, uh, to be uh, uh, sent in. And uh, we really, really look forward to that part of it because it is just so gratifying to see so many great teachers out there and their commitment and so forth to, uh, uh, to young people learning. Well, we really appreciate you taking your time to talk about the commitment that you have to the organization and to follow everyone's bliss. What a great way to end a, a Friday is to talk about the importance of bliss and passion and uh, making sure that we all do our best to be the great person that we can be, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially when it comes to the children and the young people. They deserve the best chance that we can give them. Excellent. Thank you very much, Dr. Ruley. Uh, appreciate your time. Thank you. It's been a privilege.